So I, I'm thinking, all right, are there going to be more, more programming languages created that are going to dethrone the major kings of Java and Python? If you think the answer is no, why? Like, I feel like this world is changing too much for us to say, all right, we built the best programming languages. It's Java, it's Swift, and it's JavaScript, and it's Python. Hey, guys, a thousand years from now, you're still going to be using those. I don't think that's a thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at COBOL. COBOL. That went in. <laughs> that was yeah, the raid, man. Built that on was top the of Java, yeah? Yeah, For Android so. developers? No, uh, no, 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 that's Kotlin. Kotlin, that's what I was thinking. COBOL about. is like old school, like, uh, don't quote me, but like, 80s, 90s, definitely at least 90s, like mainframe programming, and people were like, it's like a procedural oriented language. People were like, this is the, all the rave. This is so good. This is gonna be around for a minute, and now, now you can get paid for being a COBOL programmer. You get paid really well just because you're one of the few people who know it because it's not used anymore. So people who need to maintain legacy systems are just like, yeah. please, someone needs to help us maintain this code. We're not gonna <laughs> refact refactor it all to Java. Yeah. It's like it's dying. If not, comes uh, out of retirement. Wanna, yeah, COBOL. I don't want to call it dead, but yeah. it's... You bring up a good point, though. When you're, the only, when you're specialized enough that you're the only person doing a task, you get paid more. Even if that technology is getting extinct, yeah. because nobody else is competing against you, you sublime get to ask demand. for whatever. It's the sublime demand curve. And right now, that's where we're at with voice. It's nobody is building voice apps. So when we go and build a voice app, it's what do we want to charge? Because the market will pay that because nobody is developing the space. Yeah. You went... And you're like, wow, I have this friend who's going and doing blockchain, and he has a similar space where nobody's playing it. Very high barrier to entry to figure out how to build with blockchain. Once you Lots do of that. speculation. It's a big buzzword. But once you do, like, you say I'm a blockchain developer, and companies will pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars because how many blockchain developers are out there? Right. They got I, I don't options. know anything about developing for blockchain. Like, I consider myself relatively smart, and I don't like